It's Mark and another Stick a Pin in It production. As today, working on this 2000 Subaru Outback, the throttle position sensor, more specifically, I've got this baby pin, safety pin, plugged in to the white wire in the middle. Looks like it's brown, white, and black, possibly. So I'm in the white wire with this safety pin for a probe. Okay, this is my probe, and I've got it uh, away from any grounding elements so it can't ground out. And the voltage we're looking for on that probe is 0 0.50 volts. And I just uh, tested it with my tester, and it was reading 0.455. So it's close, but it's off. I'm going to put it to 0. Uh, 0.5 half a volt DC half a volt DC and at the end of this if you want to see what my helper light here is all about Well, I'll go over that at the end of the video boy. That thing is a lifesaver really lights up the workspace Okay, let me set up the tripod start up the engine uh, Loosen up the throttle position sensor Phillips screws one up here one well down in there down below That uh, we might not be able to see but maybe we can at least get to it. Okay, all right, got the digital zoom at work right now, which might, might not be as uh, clear as an optical zoom, but uh, I guess it'll have to do. Okay, so zero, zero, zero. Uh, actually, a flat blade screwdriver worked in loosening up those screws, so that was handy. Let's go ahead and connect up the wires, see what we're getting. There we have it, four point, I make that uh, 0 0.455 DC volts. And what I wanna do now is rotate the throttle position sensor just a little bit, tilting it towards the front of the motor now. Okay, a little bit too much. Point five four six. We're getting closer. Point five zero three. I don't know if I can get any closer than that. Nope. Four ninety eight. He's a bit jumpy to set. All right, 0.502, so pretty much half a volt. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it down, recheck it. All right, give it another check now that everything's locked down. All right, 0 0.501, 10 hundred, one one thousandth of a volt off. Okay, so I ended up with 0. 501 volts DC, so half a volt DC, 0.5 volt. The uh, online stuff indicated that 0.45 to 0.55, you are okay. So if you can have the second zero, that would be great. The third one, you don't really, you know, don't really need to go by, but if you can get 0 0.50 or between 0.45 and 0.55, you're good, but 0 0.50 is where it should be if you can do it. And uh, so there we go. So we got the safety pin in there still. We'll pull that out of the white wire there, okay? And the other end of the probe, uh, in case I didn't mention it, I just had it grounded right here to the top of this where the air cleaner was. It uh, continues right down clamps directly onto the motor down below. So had a good ground right there, good bare metal. And so ground and white wire, you should get half a volt DC. Now, as far as my helper work light here, here, let's, uh, let's turn it off so you can actually see it. 
See, it's one of those yellow cob or chip on board LED lights. It's just one strip of LEDs. And this particular one is rechargeable. Okay, that's what I chose online. Chose the rechargeable one. Plug it in here to charge it up. Also, you have a USB port to charge your cell phone or other items. There's also a battery check button. Okay, so we're at about two thirds battery now. And then you close this up. Here's the on off button. This is what it looks like on the back. You notice there's no battery compartment door like on some of these LED work lamps. It's all enclosed. I've owned it for, I don't know, about a month and a half now and used it some, haven't had any issues with it yet. This handle clicks open so that you can set it in various positions or hang it from something or just carry it around like, like, a, like a flashlight. Okay, and it locks in different positions for whatever you're doing. Very handy, durable plastic, rechargeable, work lamp, light up your life. I think I paid uh, 25, between 25 and 30 for these online right now. That's where you can probably find them at. But that's what it looks like. Don't settle for imitations that have the battery door that you have to replace the batteries and all that kind of stuff. Make sure it's rechargeable, okay? And, and it, it has all this stuff in here. All right, okay. If you don't buy one like that, then you're on your own. All right, good enough. Uh, time to put this Scooby back together. Look at it. Oh, it's all yuck.